Hi, it's Debbie with Deanne's Designs. I'm going to bring you a little journal I worked up for uh, the design team project for Took Craft Table. It's a calligraphy digital, and I'll list her um, store down below. If you would like to go shop over there, she has quite a few to choose from. So this is one of them, and this one's called the calligraphy. It's six and a half by four and a half, and I've applied two signatures inside. And this I just left the front cover well with a little stamp, and that's about it. Here's your spine, your two signatures, and then here is your back cover into here. The very large mushroom onto here. It's very pretty. Um, this book I designed to to put the, the signatures at the very far end, so that when we open it up, we have room to lay it down and and be able to write in it. So let's get started on this. Um, this is going to be my interior page. We have a little um, A that's from the digital kit. And then I've applied oh, just some odds and ends to it, stitched around it. And um, we have the little, I call it a cake collar because that's what I buy is cake collars and put it on there. And then I have a little printout, or printout a uh, die cut that I've done over here on this. Dream and Achieve. Happy Together. A little collage page she has this is a collaged kit so it's already collaged or you can collage on the collage which is kind of what I did this is our next page here I'll just quickly take you through here if you can see them we can bend it down so if you wish to write in it or work in it we have ways to do that okay here's a little tag area here this flower is so pretty Really like the yellow in that. Very nice. And this page is fun. They're all fun. They have a lot of different letters. I like calligraphy and I don't, I wish I could work it, but I really don't. Not that much anyway. And um, I like letters and I like the alphabet. It's it's so pretty in Calig. And over here, I've left you a little brush alphabet over here on this page which was not in the kit, and a uh, little ways to practice and, and try and interpret these. And then we have um, this guy here who is a little C card, which I stamped just to note on the back. A nice little pocket. I have a die cut a doily, and then had this paper in here and a little butterfly I attached, the letter A, some trims, and number two. And then you are enough with memories pocket and let's pull that on out we're going to have a little stamp here and a little washi tape that's uh, going to read friendship on it and then i made a little tag to go with it from a file folder <clears throat> here's our next page for letter c and we're going to have a little girl reading the book number four heartfelt Put a little stamp onto it. Um, a washi tape extended over into here. Another strip of washi tape numbers. Now open that up. And I did a hidden paper clip on this one. There it's on. And then you can open this up. And then I stamp again just to note onto here. Gave you extra writing room to the top. And then we have ourselves this tag into here, which holds this tag into here. And we're going to do, oh, these are little Tim Holtz people. The letter G made a flower, a little grateful cool down at the bottom. Um, what I've used, these are coin holders. And uh, sorry, it's just a little bit better. Here we go. These are little coin holders. And I've just taken paper and attached it onto here and then decorated it up. As you can see, little holder, a stamp postcard on the back of this, and then it gives you plenty of writing room on there. I put the this belongs to, um, all these are just some labels I have and decided to use it in the center. And then we left the stamp with a little lady mailing the postage off in the, into the mailbox okay and then our next page 
got a lot going on it already from Took's kit. It's, it houses a great deal of, of uh, collaging on it. And then I chose to attach just a little bit more. I just added the butterflies, some letters. These letters I had my scanning cut cut out for me. And then this is just a little tag I put journal me onto here. A little holder for it. So it's got a little punch out that I put on there. Then we have some more calligraphy letters. This over here is obviously the one that opens that I went ahead and made a corner fold. And um, that's what it looks like on this side. It's what it's going to look like on this side. I put a little dangle on here and a little heart. I think this one, I think I got this one from uh, out of G Curve. I think is where that one comes from. And you open it up, and then we'll have a lot more writing or, or whatever you're going to do. If you're going to add pictures, you, you just, you've got room for it. We have some little trim running down the edge. And then I just put this back up on here. And hold our corner shut. And then we flip over to this page. Again, a lot of collaging paper. But it is a kit of collages. And it's, it's very pretty. You can do a lot with it. Lots of color going with it. I loved it. I loved enjoyed. I so enjoyed working with it. Just kind of made you keep going. And I added a little tag in there. This tag I've attached to here. So it actually acts as your pocket. And then I cut out a um, gold typewriter. And put it into here. We have the word English on this little label here. And then we have a little, a little corner wrap I put across here. And so I got three of these little, oh, I just punched them out of stuff. So I put it on there, a little gold bar, ABC attached and some lace. And then down below, we're going to have a little bag that I've attached a little uh, hole to and um, put this little guy on there. Inside, we're just holding some papers, extra papers. So if you like wanted to do something extra in this book, I wanted to be sure that there were some papers there for you to work with it. Back into here. And then I attach it back over to here. I left, oh, I got this little butterfly too I've cut out, but I removed the inside of it here onto it and so then it just blends in quite nicely with my paper and um, because it was a solid purple now it's not and this is a little Tim Holtz paper clip and I'm just going to attach him back over to there and then the opposite side here's your corner area and this is attached to the paper clip and here's a beautiful digital piece that took as in her calligraphy and it's just brilliantly colors. It's you will so enjoy this if you decide to do this kit. I've got a little bow that I've placed up here on the top of this one, and then I just put a little tag. Again, I did the butterfly where I cut the center out, and then just put the outline edges of it. Just kind of gave it a different appearance. Then we have. These restaurant ones, this is from um, Natalie at Line.Arrow, and I just attached it to the page. It gave you some extra writing room. And in the back here is another, as you can see, here's her collage page. The dragonflies, the butterfly, very pretty. Everything is just so well colored. Lots of design on it. Uh, this is a large number eight I have in my supplies. I put a little lace out here on this and you open it up and then you just have an extra writing room. Lots of writing room in here. This could even go as a picture if you had a little picture of some sort, you know, you may want to put in there. It would fit in there. Um, this is just something I pulled off of the internet and it's just a description of calligraphy. And then I just put this one over. This had a, I just left a longer area on the side so that I could bring this over 
and then create yet another folder. But I want you to see this page of her calligraphy. It is so pretty. And there's a little owl on here. It's just, it's really pretty. I love these letters. They're very heavy in script. Now I left you a little butterfly, the letter A. And then I made you a little um, envelope and used the stamp I have which I'm thinking is a Tim Holtz stamp. And then I just added a little card in here for you so that you can write on that. And I didn't attach this envelope because I wanted you to be able to write on the back of that also. Back in here, another writing page, a little stamp. And then check out these colors, they're just so pretty. Ooh. It just looks really nice. You're able to do so many things with this kit. This is your centerpiece here, which you can attach something else in here. You have plenty of room to do so. But I, I felt, no, I'm, I'm fine with just decorating it and moving on. And this is the next page which, well, of the first part of the second signature. And um, I'm just taking this and I think we had a little but Yeah, this one has a little butterfly on her digital kit. And I just added some cutouts that I produced onto my stash. And that the little girl's reading the book with value your time. We have the ABCs and the num one number. Um, I've stamped right and then I stamped this stitching line here. And then this is another corner piece. And with that, I've cut out an exclamation mark that would be on your keyboard. And I've placed it just on this in here on your little corner holder. And then I'm going to put this back a little here. And then I better hold it out. I put a tag over into here. And this is one of the digitals. And decided to put it into a tag. Isn't it beautiful? It's just the peas in here. And, the, and there's a pretty little butterfly. And then on the back, I just flipped it up. And I've created an extra pocket so that you can put whatever you want to put in there too. If you write a story about something, then maybe you could pop a picture in even. Okay, and I'll put this back in the little pocket I had made it. Uh, this is faux stitching that I've done around into here. And then I've taken these little areas here. I've punched these two out and then just created small tags that you can use. These the same way. And in, I'm going to take and corner it up. Put it all back together again. And then we have the next page, which this is the background is for digital. And then I just took these. These are in large typewriter letters, spelled out brush. And then just a just a cutout I did and dipped in gold. And then this was... Uh, Oh, it was just stained. I can't remember the name of it now. Antique something. Antique something. What is the name of that? Vintage photo. There we go. And then in the next page, you're going to have a little stamp here. And I've left you letters to which you can try to, you know, draw. And here's the, a little calligraphy tag that I've left in here. Kind of give you a sample of using a fine point. I think this was a .05 on here. And... Place else you can write upon. Very thick um, safety pin. And this is a digital. Isn't it pretty? Look at the iris work on that. It's so pretty. And all the different letters. Then over here we have a just an open sheet. This is the letter A. Uh, I think this is a Tim Holtz one also. And then a bingo card that I'll just put a little lace on and included it in here. And you have loads of writing room in here. I've stamped your typewriter on here and then your floral and some more of your calligraphy letters. Here's another um, label to put in here. This book belongs to used as kind of to represent like a hinge thing on here. And this is going to be, oh, I just, I had ABC put on here. This is a little cutout I put on of a, it's a window with the butterfly showing from the back and um, that on there like that 
He has some cut out roses here on the sides of it. Memories. Um, I used a little embossed paper and put it over here on the corner. Here's another restaurant a check actually and I put it on here for you to be able to write with uh, again out of um, Natalie one dot arrow and here's another corner tab over here Let's put in with the letter S and then I have isn't that pretty look at the cherry I'm mean, asking okay. it's it's just so pretty I love the coloring on it it came out very nice I used a darker paper so that I could use just kind of give it a different coloring and and I liked how it came out I'm gonna put my corner piece back there Switch over here to this one here and then I'll left you some some more letters to trace this is some washi tape I have um, open this up and you'll have more area to which to write with your little stamp area in here now when you have these corner pieces if you'd like you can also take and tuck these pages when you're done and you don't want them in your way just tuck your pages into your corner pieces and like this one here is an open when you finished you know working on this one here and you're ready to go back into something else just take it into here and tuck it in and then you have areas just to hold it back. Here's a little tag into this one with the description of goal and what that may mean. Um, this has got a little butterfly up in here. As you can see her, her digital back into here. So like a little floral off in here. Some sort of little insect. And then we have a little clock I've added, so little pieces here to collage with. We have a nice little rose piece of material here. And this is number six in notes. And this one here you take off, or move it back, however you want to do it, and you can move this out. I took two of my rectangles and created a frame. So you can also write or add a picture back behind here. We have a little girl who's kind of paying attention to what you're doing. Favorite tales and then page 354 down here. This is miscellaneous on the top of this tag. She believes she could, so she did. Is stamped onto here. Heartfelt is on the back, which leaves you some more little writing space. And then you, you can cover up your area. So it's kind of a secret. And then take this one out. And then we have this little, it's a cutout I've, uh, I had in my stash. And this reads June 24th of 84. I think that's Tracy Fox. Cut out there. And then we just added, this is strip of paper comes out of the digital kit. And then we just added some old um, lacy stuff that I had. I put a butterfly on here and added a little stickles and cheesecloth, a little safety pin. Just a memory on this tag and a little floral that I just punched out a little floral. You open this up, this side of it. I've created this little belly band into here. I wanted it to sit more into the center, but it interfered also with this. So what I did is I allowed this to have an opening, but attached on down through here and in here. So when you pull this out, you want to pull this, you know, and move it or whatever you're doing, it'll fit back down in there without any complications. So here's my belly band, uh, the first step in a journey. And then I've got a little gold cut out here and another little bows. These bows are definitely G curve bows. Um, then we have these little, these little bag pockets here that I've taken some napkins I had. And I just attached them onto this little sack. And then I attached inside the little sack another little tag, which gave you plenty of room to write on here too. And it gives you room to you know, put whatever you would like of your own things inside this little sack of goodies.
And then we have the little boy here, which is a little Tim Holtz boy. The letter T, this again is another coin holder. And you just collage a little bit on there. There we go. I like to just put them all in there. And they're not flipping all over the place. There we go. And then these are your letters again, down to W. And then you will have this collage page here that Took has done. This is out of her digital kits. Look at the color that's in here. Very large letters off of here. <clears throat> it's very pretty. I just, I really enjoy the coloring on it. And then XYZ is here in the back. And then here's your letter X. Um, more of her wonderful letters in here. And then this is your back page with the faux stitching across here. And an iris that I've decided to put in there because I love flowers. So there we go. This is the little book I've created and it will be for sale. If you would be interested, you can message me and yeah, we can go from there. But I want to thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Took. This is really a very nice kit. It's, it's beautiful. I love all of these patterns that are on here. And I know everybody can make a beautiful journal or or whatever you're making using this collage kit. So I highly recommend it. And I thank you for coming by. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have a great time. Bye.